Hey what's up guys? Today I'll show you a horror film, Final Destination. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. This film is about a group of people who evade their impending death by cheating death's plan. However, death has a new plan and starts to haunt them. Can they cheat death's plan again? Let's find out. The movie begins where Alex is preparing for his flight towards Paris for a tour, while his mother is helping him to prepare the baggage. His mother sees a tag attached to the baggage, and tries to remove it. However, Alex prevents his mother from removing it, and he tells her that the tag needs to be with the baggage for luck, since the tag prevents the plane from having an accident. But his mother proceeds to remove the tag from the baggage. The following night, Alex, together with his schoolmates and teachers, is in the airport for their flight towards Paris. Later, as the announcer calls for the passengers of their flight, they walk towards the plane. As Alex enters the plane, he observes the runway and the plane. Then, Alex proceeds to sit in his seat and wears the seatbelt. After that, two pretty girls ask Alex to switch seats with them, so they can sit together. Then, Alex sees Todd telling him to refuse their request to switch seats, but he still accepts their request. As Alex sits towards the seat beside Todd, the attached table in the chair opens up, and he closes it again, but the pin is broken. In a few moments the plane takes off and leaves the airport. Then, the passengers of the plane start cheering as the plane takes off. While the plane is in the air, it experiences turbulence, and makes the passengers worry. Then, the turbulence stops, and the passengers feel relief. However, in a few seconds, the plane experiences more violent turbulence. Suddenly, the lights turn off, and the suitcases start falling. Then, the plane lets out the oxygen masks, and the passengers start to wear them. Meanwhile, Alex looks at the window, he observes that the trajectory of the airplane is going down. In a few seconds after that, the airplane started to be ripped apart, and the air pressure coming from outside starts to take away some of the passengers. And in a few moments the plane is on fire, and starts burning together with the passengers inside. After that, Alex wakes up and panting. Apparently, the airplane explosion is only a dream. Then, the girls ask Alex if they can switch places, so they can sit together. Immediately, Alex checks the pin in the chair and finds it broken. That makes him realize that his dream is a premonition to the airplane explosion. Alex starts to loudly shout that the airplane is going to explode, and tells the staff he is not joking. As a response, Carter gets furious and punches Alex. In response, the staff removes them together with Terry from the plane. Also, the staff accidentally remove Billy, who just arrived, from the plane. Additionally, Miss Luton, Todd, and Clear follow them. Back to the airport, the officer disallows them from going back on board the plane. As a response, Miss Luton asks the officer to allow them to get on board the plane, since the students will be left alone in Paris. However, the officer allows only one of them to be back. In the end, Miss Luton asks Larry to be back on the plane instead of her. Later in the airport, Billy, Carter, and Terry watch the plane as it takes off from the airport. Meanwhile, Miss Luton consoles Alex, and asks him what happened. While Alex is narrating his dream to the teacher, Carter mocks and blames him. As a response, Alex angrily attacks Carter, and they start to fight. While they are fighting, Billy observes the plane, and it suddenly explodes. Everyone in the airport is in shock, as they witness the explosion, and it seems that they cannot believe what just happened. Later that evening, Alex gets together with those who get off the plane. Then, the FBI agents arrive to interrogate them for the investigation of the airplane explosion. The FBI agents ask Alex how he knows that the airplane will explode. In response, Alex explains that he simply saw the airplane exploded in his dream. Later that evening, Alex is in his home watching the news about the airplane explosion, and he gets emotional. The news broadcast says that everyone in the airplane explosion dies. Alex is in tears, and seems to be in shock, as he tries to absorb what happens. In the next scene, 39 days after the airplane explosion, Alex and the relatives of the victims are in the memorial service, dedicated to the victims of the airplane explosion. The priest tells them that it is unavoidable to ask why the victims have passed away. As an answer to the question of why, the priest proceeds to tell that it is a fate of man to not know when his time will come, as death comes so sudden. Then, after the speech of the priest, everyone in the memorial service offers a flower for the victims. Meanwhile, Clear gives flowers to Alex to thank him. After that, Todd has a speech, where he says that death cannot be forecast and comes unexpectedly. In the next scene, Todd is in the bathroom in his home. He is looking in the mirror and shaving his face. 
while Todd is shaving his face, there is water leaking from the toilet. Meanwhile, Alex is in his home, and an owl suddenly comes to the window. Then, he throws a magazine at the owl, but it hits the fan, which rips some pages of the magazine. Then, a ripped part of the page flies to the hands of Alex, and the name of Todd is written there. Back to Todd in his bathroom, the water leaking from the toilet reaches him, which makes him slip. As Todd slips, his neck gets caught by the wire, which as a result, chokes him. While the wire is choking Todd, he tries to get himself out, and shouts to ask for help, but he is already voiceless. Then, he tries to reach the scissor, but fails to do so. In the end, Todd dies while he gasps for breath. Later that day Alex is running towards Todd's house. Outside of the house, the medics are taking Todd's body from the house. Also, Clear is there and tells Alex to get away from there. In a few moments, the father of Todd talks to Alex, and tells him Todd dies of suicide because of his guilt from getting off the plane. After that day, Alex goes to Clear, and asks why she was there in Todd's house. Clear disregards the Alex's question, and instead, she proceeds to show a spring head sculpture to him. Then, Clear tells Alex that it symbolizes him, as it portrays an absolute yet incomprehensible attraction. Clear added that she felt what Alex felt during the incident in the airport, and that makes her believe him. As a response, Alex tells Clear that he feels that there is a vague something from the incident, that remains and haunts them until now. Additionally, Alex tells Clear that maybe he could find out more by seeing Todd one last time. As a response, Clear asks Alex to see Todd one last time. In the next scene, Alex and Clear sneak into the morgue, and there they see the dead body of Todd. As they are observing it, the mortician comes out and talks to them. Then, Clear asks the mortician about the marks on the Todd's neck. As a response, mortician tells Clear that the marks are a sign of Todd fighting against the wire. This makes Alex realize that Todd's death is an accident. However, the mortician tells them that in death, there is no accident and no escapes. The mortician proceeds to tell them that everything that happens, is a part of death's sadistic design, which leads to the grave. Then, Alex asks the mortician if it is possible to cheat death by figuring out its design. In response, the mortician tells Alex that he has already cheated by walking out of the plane. As a result, death has a new design for them. This means Alex needs to figure out the new design to cheat it again. After that, Alex apologizes for breaking in, and says goodbye to the mortician. The mortician responds creepily, by telling Alex that he will see him again. The following day, Alex and Clear are in a coffee shop, talking about the death design and the possibility of cheating it. While they talk, Alex looks to the window, and sees a reflection of a bus passing by, which is a premonition for the next death. In a few moments, Carter and Terry arrive in the coffee shop, in a car. Also, Miss Luton and Billy on his bike are there. Then, Alex and Carter start to fight, and Terry gets angry and tells them to stop. After that, Terry angrily walks away, and as she walks away, a bus suddenly hits her. In the next scene, Alex is in his home, watching the news regarding the airplane explosion. The news shows the path of the explosion in the airplane. This makes Alex realize that the pattern of Todd and Terry's death follows the path of explosion. This makes him conclude the order of death, and Miss Luton is next to die. Meanwhile, Miss Luton in her home is emotional, as she remembers the events that happened. She boils water in the kettle, and puts the hot water in her mug. However, she throws away the water, and puts ice and vodka in the mug instead. Then, the mug breaks and starts to leak as she picks it up. As she is placing the mug behind the computer, the leaking vodka drops inside the computer, which makes it wet. Immediately, the computer starts to spark, and she proceeds to check it. As she is checking the computer, it explodes, and glass flies to her neck, causing her to bleed. Then she tries to survive by trying to get a towel to prevent the bleeding. But in the process, she accidentally pulls the knife, which falls towards her. In a few seconds, the explosion sets the floor on fire. Then, Alex arrives and tries to save her, but fails to do so. In the end, Alex jumps out of the house as it explodes. In the next scene, Clear meets Carter and Billy during the night in the memorial park. Clear convinces them to find Alex, to figure out who is next to die following the death pattern. They drive towards a beach park. Then, Clear finds Alex there, and she convinces Alex to drive with them towards her dad's cabin. Later that evening, they drive together towards the cabin of Clear's dad. Then, Carter asks Alex about the next person to die according to the pattern. Alex tells them it is not important to know. In frustration, Carter suddenly speeds up the car, and tells them that he will cheat Death's plan, by killing himself through his own volition. 
Meanwhile, Alex sees an image of a train coming, which serves as a premonition for Carter's death. Then Carter stops the car in the middle of the railroad, while there is a train coming in their direction. Immediately, they get out of the car except for Carter. Then, as the train is getting near, Carter tries to move the car, but fails to do so. So he tries to move out of the car instead. However, the seatbelt traps Carter, which forces Alex to pull him outside of the car to save him. In the end, Alex is able to pull and save Carter from the car, when the trains hit it. Meanwhile, as they are talking beside the moving train, there's metallic debris in the railroad, and it gets hit by the train. As a result, it suddenly flies and hits Billy, which cuts his head off. Billy's death makes Alex realize that by skipping the death of Carter, the death's plan goes towards the next person in the pattern, which is Billy. In the next scene, Alex is already in the cabin. He thinks he is the next person to die, and tries to avoid any dangerous objects that can kill him. However, Alex realizes that he is not the next person in the pattern, but it is clear who's the next. Immediately, Alex rushes towards Clear to save her from the impending death. Outside of the cabin, the FBI arrives and chases Alex. Meanwhile, in Clear's house, Thunder hits the electric wire, which makes it spark. As she looks out the window, she sees the dog is in danger, and goes out to save it. Outside, she pulls the dog away, and is able to save the dog from danger. However, the sparking electric wire keeps moving in a different direction, and could possibly hit her. Immediately, she climbs up towards her house, and goes to the garage to ride her car. Then, she rides the car and tries to move the car away, but to no avail, as the sparks hit the car and thus turn off the engine. In a few moments, Alex arrives, and tries to stop the sparking electric wire using the shovel in an attempt to save clear. However, as soon as Alex hits the sparking electric wire, it goes towards the floor and sets the chemical on fire. In a few moments, the fire reaches the car and is about to explode. Left with no choice, Alex tells Clear that there is a need to skip her death to save her. Then, Alex holds the sparking electric wire in an attempt to kill himself, which skips the Clear's death. As Alex holds it, he flies away in shock, and the car explodes, while Clear is able to get out safely. After that, Clear and the FBI agents check Alex, who is unconscious on the ground. In the next scene, it is already six months after. Alex, Clear, and Carter take an airplane to Paris. The movie ends, where they are drinking together in the streets of Paris. There, they talk about the possibility of the continuation of the death pattern. Suddenly, a glass of red wine spills in the paper where the death pattern is written, and marks the place of Alex. This makes Alex tremble in fear, because he thinks that it is a premonition for his death. As a result, Alex walks away from Clear and Carter, and he proceeds to tell them to stay away. Immediately, as Alex is walking away, Clear calls him. He looks back, and is able to evade a bus about to hit him. After that, metallic signage falls, and is about to hit Alex, but Carter saves him. In the end, as Carter asks Alex who is the next to die, the metallic signage suddenly hits him. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Peace out.